everybody. Happy Thursday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Thursday, guys. And Thursday is part of our creative writing series that we like to call Picture This. Picture This is when I show you guys an image, a painting, a drawing, a comic, um, a still, um, any kind of image. And your job is to write a chorus, a musical or a song chorus, a passage, or a poem, it could be a poem, uh, based on the, the uh, image that you're looking at. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do. And even when we were at the studio at Performing Arts, when we were open, um, I would love doing this, this assignment. We would do this every week, you know, the same. That's why I brought it back on the YouTube videos because it was so fun doing it in class. Um, you know, I show you guys an image, some sort of image, photograph, Google images, and I show you a picture that, you know, tells some sort of a story. You know, every picture tells a story, you know. Um, you don't know what's happened before it or after it. So that's the part that's like up to your imagination. So you can write whatever it is that you think is happening based on what you're looking at. And, um, you know, and again, this is not something, you don't have to do this. I'm just letting you guys know. Don't feel obligated that you have to do this. If you're watching this video and you want to try it, that's fine. If you don't want to try it, that's fine too. Even if you just try it up in your mind, you know, I want you to use your imagination to, I want you to study the picture that I give you and I want you to look at it and just daydream. Stare at it until you don't see it no more and you start to go into your mind into a daydream. When you come out of that daydream and you're back to sitting in front of your computer or your, you know, whatever device you're watching, you know, me on right now, then I want you to just put your ideas down. You know, just put your ideas down. What do you see in the picture? Like what's in the picture? That's the first thing I do. I always just write what's in the photograph. Okay? Like, and then from there, I start to say, you know, what happened just before this? Like, if this was a photograph, sometimes it's a painting, but let's pretend all of them are photographs, right? What happened just prior to that scene? What happened just minutes afterwards? What's this person's history? What is their... What's going on in the picture? What is their mental state in that picture? Are they happy? Are they sad? Are they scared? Are they angry? Are they laughing? Are they crying? I mean, um, is the person by themselves? Are they with a group? Um, you know, where are, the, where, are they, where are they at? You know, are they at Disneyland? Are they, you know, where are they? You know, so, uh, you know, these are all the things that you should write down. So you should get a piece of paper and just write down everything that you see in the picture. And, um, and the, only, the only rules to this are that it rhymes and that it tells some sort of a story, you know? And don't just rhyme to make it rhyme. Like I said in the other class, you know, um, my love is true. I just bought some glue. The sky's really blue. Like don't, that's just rhyming to rhyme. You're not telling a story. You're just rhyming the end of each line to make it rhyme. That doesn't really do anything to set a story in motion. Okay, so um, that's the only rules. So it should rhyme and it should tell a story, okay? Um, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the picture. Um, I'm gonna give you the picture in a minute, but, um, you know, why do we do this? Well, it's a great, it's a great exercise for your mind. It's a great exercise to keep your chops in shape as far as your writing skills and your imagination skills. You know, this is more about your imagination than even writing. As long as you're, here's where I'm, I'm happy if you're just watching this class and your participation is to daydream looking at that picture. And then when we're in class together on a live Zoom, I want you to tell me what you saw 
in your imagination if you don't want to write a whole thing, okay? And it doesn't have to be a long, elaborate thing if you do write it down, you know? And don't, like I said, don't feel obligated. There's no obligation to do this. So just do it if you want. And, or just enjoy this video, watching it. You don't have to participate. Anyway, um, I love doing this exercise because it just, you know, anything can inspire me, right? So sometimes a good movie will inspire me. Um, or even something that happens in my day. I can overhear a conversation and it will just make me think of something and I'll, I'll grab my phone and in my little recorder, I'll jot down my ideas based on a conversation I overheard or something, you know? Um, anything can set me off. And sometimes you need a little push in your creativity if you're not feeling creative that day. Um, these things always help me to jumpstart my creativity, you know? So what I want to do right now is I'm going to show you the picture. So, so um, here is the photograph. Here it is. I really want you to study that picture. Look at everything that's there. There's a woman sitting at a table alone. It's a table for two, but actually it's a table for three. And she's the only one there. And she looks a little bit disappointed. And we're back. So that, that is our picture. The woman sitting out. I don't know if it's a restaurant. It looks like it could be a restaurant. And um, sitting with her hands under her chin, elbows on the table. Looks a little disappointed. She's there alone. Um, well, the first thing that I thought of when I looked at that picture was... The first thing that came in my mind, I was going to write a whole thing called Table for One, right? Um, but then I looked at it and I just started letting my, and, and of course that was the theme floating through my mind as I was watching that. So, but, you know, I imagine a whole backstory. You know, that's how my mind works. I, I see this person and I immediately put her in a situation with a history, you know? Um, so I'm gonna read you the lyrics I wrote based on this photograph, okay? So I wrote, I don't wanna say goodbye. I don't ever wanna be alone again. Didn't want to make you cry. Because you make me feel alone, broken hearted. And I don't want to say goodbye. I don't ever want to be alone again. Didn't want to make you cry. But you make me feel alone, broken hearted. You make me feel alone, broken hearted. So that. Those are my lyrics. Um, and uh, again, whatever this picture makes you think about, then that's legitimate. You know, there's no wrong way to do this. She could be, you could write this about your whatever, you know. Um, you could write this about anything you want. If it may, whatever this picture makes you feel is the right answer. Just riff. Riff, what I mean when I say riff, I mean just write about whatever this makes you think about. That's it. There's no wrong way. It's, it's your way. This is your universe. You're, you are the boss of this picture. Whatever you see in it, you're the boss.
you write whatever it is you feel based on what you're looking at. So again, that's it. Guys, uh, that is all the time that we have for tonight. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. I love you guys. Miss you. I can't wait to see the lyrics that you guys write for this. You guys have been killing it every week. Those of you who are really putting the effort forward, I sincerely thank you because you guys are killing it. I mean, really. I can't wait till we get back into songwriting class where we're all contributing and putting our ideas together in a room live. Um, that is my favorite thing in the world to do. But until then, we're going to keep doing it like this. And I, I mean, this is great too. I love doing it like this. So guys, I love you. I miss you. Be safe, be well, and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to put a melody to these words that I wrote tonight. So tomorrow we're going to give birth to a melody for these words. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.